Welcome to day 14. This is how to make a vision board as well and then an amazing workout. Create the highest, grandest vision possible for your life because you become what you believe. Creating a vision board. This is a tool used to help clarify, concentrate, and maintain focus on a specific life goal. You display images or words that represent whatever you want to be, do, or have in your life. I'm definitely one of those ones that was like, oh yeah, I'll do it, and I never, never, never did it. And then finally, I, I decided I wanted to change, and I, I, I had to you know, see hers, and kind of, I'm a very visual person, so I had to see hers to understand it. Especially since we've been through the program, it's just really changed me in wanting to do a newer, like a more updated one and more specification. I definitely have changed a lot from when I didn't want to use do this and now I want to and now I even want to do another one. She so. has health, creativity, prosperity, skills and knowledge, travel, relationships and love, family, career, fame and reputation. And everybody is going to have their own vision board. Some are going to be more pictures. You can see her a little bit more words. Everybody has a little bit of a different vision. More than anything, as she starts to live her life, starting to cross off some of those goals is going to feel like a huge accomplishment. Put it in right when you wake up in the morning and it's going to be catching your eye every single time you look out that door. So every time you make that left or that right turn every day of those quick decisions, it's going to lead you down to where your vision board is going to take Again, you. So. And I'm like, yes, I need to go back to it because I remember when I was really overweight and then uh, I started losing weight. I remember the image that came to my, my mind of myself being very thin and with the specific clothes and after I, I lost all the weight, I've forgotten about this image and I was getting ready to go out and I'm like, oh, this is the way I imagine myself. It is so crazy how we become this. If we believe, we become this. Questions, but I would say I'm like Stacy, where it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do one, I'm gonna do one. I've gone so far to cut things out and they're stored in an envelope and then it just never taking the time to actually sit and do the process. Yes, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Bye. We took a nice little warm up. Make sure you always warm up your muscles before you start working. Let's go into the workout. The first one is sea walks. Put a band on, place the band on top of your knees. We're gonna go to a total of 20 sea walks. Start off with your legs nice and wide. You're gonna just glide your foot along the grass, make it into a C and step. For that's for two, we're gonna go for a total of 20. Next one, monster walk. Stick your booty back, your legs are nice and separate. What you're gonna do is you're gonna tap and push back with your glutes right there. Push, good. Tap and push, it's kind of a diagonal. Modified on your knees. Modified will be a push up on your knees and you're gonna spring your leg up. That's like awesome. So from here, you're gonna go into a push up. You're gonna squat back like this with a leg raise. Back into a push up, squat back to a leg raise. Here we go.
just gonna rotate forward, take a nice good deep breath, reach them up, send some blood into some areas that feel a little tight. I'm gonna open up the side rib cage, grab one hand, open up through the side. Keep your breathing nice. Now you're all warmed up. It is a leg raise abductor. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down and up at the top, open, down. You have a total of 20. We're gonna repeat this round three times and we'll see you on day 15!